King Kuna Good morning, camping guys. trip. We are just about to head off. We've got the Ute packed, ready to go to Kuna for this awesome camping trip. I'm gonna take you along with me. Hopefully you enjoy it. Let's go. Hello everybody and now you're coming on the trip or the vlog I should say to Kin Kuna. This was an incredible weekend, very windy but really really nice. So we're travelling out to Kin Kuna, it's approximately an hour away. We've got some gravel to go across and right in this section here you can see I'm letting down the tyres. You've got to whack the tyres down to about 16 to 20 psi so you can travel on that sand a lot better with a lot more surface spread. Now after letting the tyres down, we are on the way to the beach, guys. We get hit some gravel and then now some soft sand, where we take it a little bit easier so we don't rough up the car too much, guys. Make it nice and easy. And honestly, with the tyres down, it just travels over the sand so well. Which is awesome because honestly, I haven't done too much beach driving, but after letting tyres down and just chilling, you can really just idle over the sand and you don't really get dug down or bogged down much at all, which is huge. Doesn't look that bad here in the video, but it was quite spicy. And when I say spicy, I mean soft. But as you can see, we have just got to the beach line now. And when we look to our left here, you can see the ocean, the water, the beautiful beach. We are heading up to get to our camping spot where <laughs> it's a windy surprise. Well, there you have it, guys. We have reached our destination, our camping spot for tonight which we didn't realize at the time, but when we went to set up, it was windy! Oh my gosh. I couldn't even put down the sand mat. What is this? That's all good, guys. We figured it out. We actually forgot the tent poles, so we had to go all the way back and come back out to be able to set up the swag. But here it is. We're getting there. The windiest situation of our lifetime, but we've done it. I'm tent and pegging the swag down because she's gonna blow away. And look, tegan has got a goddamn footstool and she didn't get me one. How rude. What is this? Look at that beautiful beach. The fire pit what we set up but we're not gonna use because it's too windy. And our swag in a beautiful prime location. Oh, it's gorgeous, don't you think, guys? Now from our seat, guys, we're gonna take a little bit of an adventure down to the beach side. I thought I'd take you along for the ride and how close the beach and what it looked like in real time. This is my first time walking down to the beach right here. Gotta make sure we look left and right for the traffic because uh, guys, there is cars on this beach. As you can see by the, the tracks, you know. Try to be Superman, guys. It was that windy that if I jumped, I probably would have taken Let's off. Let's go have a look at the beach one more time. Come with me, guys. Come, come, come on. Follow me. Look at me trying to be a seagull. Ka -ka, ka -ka, ka -ka. Now just watch out for the kakas. As you can see, sand, beach, water, and all the rest in between. But look at this trippy thing I just did. I, I was able to flick around my camera. I didn't even know how. But look at it. Gorgeous tracks from majestic cars traveling along the location where we are right now. Mm, look at this moist little water. Dipping my toes in some water so you guys can get some free feet fix. Oh, it gorgeous? Gushing, moist water. And I was just so happy guys, I just needed to do a trick. Woohoo! The tide was coming in fast, so we needed to be quick to get back up on the top so we didn't get swept away by the ocean and make sure you look both ways before crossing. Or you get run over by the cars! Brum brum. Now it wouldn't be a camping trip without firing up the barbie and cooking it a beautiful... Well, I'm not gonna let you know what it is right now because we're just gonna have a look at the ocean before the night gets too, too dark. Look at it. Guy real fast getting up the bank. Look at how close the water is now, guys. I would have get swept away. I told you I would have. But look at this goddamn steak sanger. It was quite dark, so I had to use the phone light. But mm. And this is our night view. What we got, because of the wind, we had to get in that swag early, cuddle up, and go to sleep early because it was just too windy to do anything else. We were getting sandblasted. But it was fun. Look at this morning, gorgeous morning view. The first thing I see when I wake up 
the tide is still up high, the water, the sun is beaming. I think it was about a 6.30 wake up, so a little bit later than I thought I was gonna get up, but mm. Well, after an early wake up, we decided to pack up and leave early so we can get all the day sorted so we can have the rest of the afternoon off. We're heading back now into the sand and a little bit of the gravel before quickly filling up the tires up to 38. Already had the dual piston pump ready to go. Gee, it worked amazing. Now we're home, a quick wash of the car with the snow foam and to get all that sand and horrible stuff off. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did and you want to see more of this content, make sure you let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. My name's Skaterboy and I'll see you on the next adventure we do. See you later boy.